Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, don't boo, vote. <laughs> until recently... Until recently, Brett Kavanaugh was just some guy without an inside voice. But over the weekend, after weeks of controversy, soul-searching, and a national conversation about sexual assault, the Senate said, fuck it, and made him the newest justice on the Supreme Court. Brett Kavanaugh will hear his first arguments this morning as the newest Supreme Court justice. Justice Brett Kavanaugh will take his seat as the ninth justice on the high court. He's going to take his seat on the far right side of the bench. That's where the junior most justice sits. That's right. Brett Kavanaugh has officially taken his seat as the junior justice on the Supreme Court. And I'm going to say, it must be so weird to be 53 years old and the most junior person in your job. <laughs> like, the only two jobs where that happens are Supreme Court justice and Walmart greeter. You realize that's it? <laughs> Now, they don't allow cameras into the Supreme Court, but luckily, they have released some audio and courtroom sketches that gave us a glimpse into Kavanaugh's first day. The identification of the habitat is not just in terms of triggering uh, Section 7 of the, of the Act. I liked beer. I still like beer. So inspiring, man. So inspiring. Usually, when a Supreme Court justice is sworn in, it's a relatively low-profile thing in the middle of the day. You know, it's a small, intimate affair. But President Trump was like, I don't do small. I don't do intimate. I do affairs. I do affairs. <laughs> but when I have an affair, everybody knows it. <laughs> and so, in a primetime televised event, President Trump took to the stage to congratulate his newest draft pick. It was a swearing-in fit for prime time. A dramatic entrance by the president and his Supreme Court pick. The other eight justices there looking on. The applause from supporters roaring. On behalf of our nation, I want to apologize to Brett and the entire Kavanaugh family for the terrible pain and suffering you have been forced to endure. You, sir, under historic scrutiny were proven innocent. Proven innocent? Proven innocent? Okay, that's... that's obviously not what happened. <laughs> right? You can't just replace what actually happened with what you wish happened, Mr. President. Just like, Judge Kavanaugh was proven innocent after they found the real assaulter of Dr. Ford, Robert Mueller. What a twist, folks! <laughs> what a twist! So twisty. Now, Kavanaugh's confirmation process was a bitter partisan mess. And many people were wondering whether a confirmed Kavanaugh would make an impartial judge. Fortunately, the new justice believes bygones should be bygones. The Senate confirmation process was contentious and emotional. That process is over. My focus now is to be the best justice I can be. I take this office with gratitude and no bitterness. Every American can be assured that I'll be an independent and impartial justice, devoted to equal justice under law. Ooh, Democrats, you going to jail? <laughs> no, because something tells me that this is a guy who doesn't forget, okay? <laughs> yeah. I mean, except for when it comes to his drinking, then he forgets everything. But I'm saying <laughs> other things he does not forget. <laughs> he will not forget. Because, I mean... Because, I mean, he's saying nice things, but in the same way that a waiter is nice to picky customers, it's like, oh, no, we can have this redone with slightly less mayo. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to do it, yeah. <laughs> so, it's official. Brett Kavanaugh is now Justice Brett Kavanaugh, which is a major win for Cocaine Mitch and the GOP. <laughs> and by the looks of it, this whole Kavanaugh thing has Republicans fired up. A new poll finds that when it comes to voters saying that the midterms are very important, Republicans have been virtually able to erase the gap with Democrats. We're seeing what is being called the Brett bounce. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said earlier in the day that Kavanaugh's confirmation united the Republican base ahead of the midterm elections. What I think this has done for us is provide the kind of adrenaline shot that we had not been able to figure out how to achieve in any other way. That's right. Can you feel the adrenaline? <laughs> can you feel it? I, I can feel the adrenaline <laughs> surging through me right now. <laughs> yeah. Before, I was like, ma, but <laughs> now, now I'm like, ma. <laughs> it's 
So, <laughs> if you are a Republican right now, you are living your best pro-life. But if you're not, things might seem pretty bleak right now because the newest member of a conservative majority on the Supreme Court just got a lifetime appointment. But there is a bright side. If that climate change report is right, a lifetime appointment might be shorter than we think. <laughs>